So Sonia, what inspired you to doing this piece of work? Uh, actually, this whole, it's a tribute to my forefathers. Yeah. It, uh, what inspired me was the culture that we have in Goa. From where did it come from? Yeah. And I just wanted to know. So I did a research and got to know that, I mean, Goa also had other dynasties coming into Goa pre-Portuguese. Yeah. So that's how they brought their culture from different, from the south and from the north. Yeah. And that culture still remains. Like, during every festival, the harvest is very important. Yeah. Like, agriculture is very important. And through that, a lot of all the folk forms are related to the harvest, which lands up towards the temple. And in this, I've shown everything that I could. What does it cover, this exhibition? This exhibition covers the hero stones, the costumes of our ancestors. Then it also covers the folk forms, the folk dance, like yeah. a Tonya male, like a Shigmo, Muslam Kheel, the famous Tarang uh, umbrella, the sacred umbrella, yeah. which is the day, which is a tribute to the deity. Yeah. Then Bhajan Dindi, Gore Modni, Dhalo, and even the Divlaja Kheel. The Kotegaon, the Shabi dance from Kotegaon. All these are from very different parts of Goa and practiced by very different uh, caste or ethnic groups. Uh, they are practiced by different yeah. caste and different groups in Goa. Yeah, but these from different all, parts, yeah. Yes, from different parts. Yeah. Uh, is this different from your earlier work in a way? Yes, it is. It is How? The, the whole formation of colors, yeah. the vibrancy, the, fa the way I have used. I mean, painted the faces and everything. Because I'm, if you see my earlier works, they were more quieter. Yeah. But this this work still have my style. Yeah. But it's very vibrant. I see. If you see the drawings, they're very sober. Yeah. So that shows the early civilization and also the famous legendary of Sri Parshurama, which yeah. I have depicted, which shoots an arrow into the sea and then Goa is formed, yeah. and the lifting of the ocean wheel. And the early civilization, the, yeah. our first worship of uh, God, I mean, we were worshipping the ant hill, uh, which is... The ruin in that sense. The ruin, the ruin in that sense. Yeah. Uh, not in that sense, it is the ruin. Yeah. And uh, it depicts the fertility of the land. So that was our first form of worship. <laughs> yes, it's on us to show. But which is your favorite drawing from here, from all of these? I shouldn't say that I have any favorite. I mean, yeah. I, all are my favorite. They all are my, they are all very favorite. All are favorite. Okay. How have you emerged as an artist? You studied in Goa, but then moved to Delhi. Yes, I'm from Goa College of Art. I've studied in yeah. Goa. Actually, I was born and brought up in Bombay. Yeah. Finished my SSC in the, way that go. I did it. No, no, no. I mean, finished I, your ICC? In, I was, I, was, I mean, I studied in Goa, then I yeah. called, did my college of art in Goa through Lakshman Pai, who was our principal. I, I was very lucky to have him for two years. Then I had Professor, late Professor Avinash Dev, I mean, guiding us. Yeah. And after that, after BFA, I've always continued painting. Delhi is more a uh, place for more creativity for you? or? See, oh, creativity, uh, yeah, circumstances keep me there because I'm married there. I'm right. married a Punjabi. Right. But creativity comes anywhere and everywhere, whenever you want it. So there shouldn't be a place or a limit to where you can't create things. But do you think artists in Goa get enough of opportunity here because it's a small place, there are very few art galleries, this is one of them. But uh, otherwise, generally, do, do artists have enough, uh, you know, in terms of opportunity here? Actually, artists should move out. Yeah. They have, I mean, yes, through tourism and all coming in, yes, to have, but they should move out on a bri broader perspective. By the competition. Yes, and it, it's much more advisable because uh, you see a lot more what the others are doing. Yeah. So that Delhi must be quite a competitive uh, setting in that sense. Yes, it is. It is. And uh, which phase of your work do you look back with the most... Right to. I loved all my phases. Like, I had different phases. Like, like there was Adolence. When I was in college, I had the Adolence series. Then I had the what series? Adolence. Okay. 
then I had the uh, uh, mother romantic union of a relationship. Yeah. I had that series. Then there was a mother and child series. There was a meditation series. So I loved all and everything that I was working on. And what are you looking forward to in future? A lot more. Just all the blessings that I can do more and more works, yeah. good works. Thanks and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Sonia, could you explain some of these? This is Zagor yeah. and this is also a dance form where they use flowers in their head. And it's, it's a Gauda dance It's a Gauda dance, Gauda, dance, Gauda Zagor. Still alive? Still alive. Very but much not alive. very visible in the mainstream? Not in the main, mainstream but it's more tourist oriented but yeah. still alive. Where could you see it today if you wanted to? I've mostly seen them at Shikmons. Shikmons. Carnival Shikmons. Shikmons. And this? This is the Dharma. This is dance, dance for women. Dance for women. This is all related to the harvest. Yeah. And it's the ongoing. Uh, Around Chaturthi or when? No, no. This is okay. the season for it. Uh, I see. I see. At uh, Jan, Jan March to January to March. And the Gode Morni. This is the Gode Morni. This this is a, another dance that depicts that the dynasties have come from out. Yeah. Basically, uh, warrior the dynasties warrior on a horse. Yes. yes. I see. And. That this is, is the, Divyache, the, the lamp dance. The lamp dance, which is done in front of the temples. It's a balancing act. That's yeah. why we use blues just to sober down the. I see. Weeks. A lot of blues in it. Yes, lots of blues. And that? This is Karvalyo, where this is a very uh, traditional folk form. I see. Where actually these ladies are not ladies, they're little boys. I see. And they put a lot of abuni flowers where they have to cross the fire. I see. Uh, bonfire to make themselves pure. I see. In which part of Goa? Uh, this is very remote. Okay. This is Mangesh. This, this, yeah, this is the Mangesh, the famous Mangesh temple and deity in Goa. Okay. And uh, this is Malsa in her Alanka group. I mean, uh, Ananta yeah. in the Vishnu group. Okay. The, the original Malsa Devi. Okay, okay. So a whole lot of local deities. Yeah, these are all local deities. Which, which are typically Goan in that sense. These are all Goan. And this is Sri Ramnath. Yeah. Lakshmi Narayan. Okay. This is Sri Ramnath in the uh, Utsam Murti. Okay. That is Sri Shanta Durga and Kunkotani. I see. I see. From Fatarpa. Fatarpa. Fatarpa is there. There yeah. two. Okay, okay. Which yeah. is Father Pa? That last one. Last one, I see. Okay. This is Mahalakshmi from Wanda. Okay, okay, okay. From Kaulay. Santa Durga? Um, yeah. I see. And the, the pencil sketching there, are they, are they whole? What are they exactly? They are pen and ink drawings. Okay. Where I have tried to show you. This is the actual drawing. Yeah. With the first worship. Yeah. Maybe even pre Hindu in that sense. Yeah, pre Hindu. And then? No, I think nobody was Hindu then. Yeah. It was the identity which emerged. Right, we emerged. Later. Right. And then this? This is early civilization okay. that comes into. These are all early civilization that comes Castle into. Cattle wealth? Cattle. Okay. And that's Parshuram. That is Sri Parshuram. Striking the arrow. In a sense, you have uh, humanized them also. So, like, Parshuram is uh, is he visible as a human being? Yeah, he is okay. a human being. Basically, very but is he depicted as a human being? Yeah, he's no? okay. He just has uh, his uh, symbol is the axe and the bow and arrow. Okay. So this is a painting and an installation yeah, in a way. Yeah, both. It okay. What's What's the point here? Yeah, I just wanted to depict the whole harvest. From yeah. this, the whole tradition forms. Yeah. So basically, they are harvesting the grain and the grain. Uh, separating the wheat yeah, from the, the shaft. This the is rice. called vare. Yeah, this is the shafting, the winnowing okay. of the grains. Okay, okay, okay. And it's a very. And I've done this because this whole thing is very ritualistic of uh, winnowing and drying the grains. In, so, in a circular in form. In a circular form. I see. This is something you would see in many parts of Goa, even yes, now. even now. On the highways. Yes, I only hope they don't disappear. <laughs> As everything else is That's disappearing. The need, the need 
part of Guha is always a pure. Okay.